Hey there everybody, Travis Bowman here. Let's take a quick look at the Pixu 64 by Davoom. Now what we're looking at is a pixelated, animated picture frame, essentially. Um, the idea is that you can have all these different sprites, pixel arts, anything that you can imagine, really. And it animates on this sort of picture frame that you can either sit on your desk, or you can even hang it on your wall. Now, full disclosure, Devoom sent me this to review on my YouTube channel for you guys, but all the opinions are going to be my own. With that being said, spoiler alert, I don't have a lot of negative things to say about this thing. It's fairly straightforward. Um, it's just a really cool piece for your game room, but you can also use this in several other different applications, and that's what we're going to go over today. Now, there's plenty of unboxing videos and stuff like that. I didn't bother with unboxing it. Um, basically, when you get it out of the box, you need to connect it to your Wi-Fi, and that's kind of like how the entire system works. It connects to your Wi-Fi just like any other device would. It's powered by a USB-C cable. Uh, it doesn't have an internal battery, so you have to have it plugged in for it to function. So the idea is that after you get it all set up and connected to your Wi-Fi, you can then download the app on your phone, the Devoom app, and this is going to be the control center for this device. And this is where it gets really, really interesting because it's a community. It, it really is. So there's a bunch of people that um, can create their own sort of pixel art, and I'm no artist, so I'm not any good at that, but I have really enjoyed um, kind of browsing on this app. You'll find that you'll probably get lost you know, searching for all sorts of different personal things that you like. For example, I'm really into like Sega as a company and I, I really have enjoyed all of their games growing up. So, you know, for example, the Dreamcast, I really am into the Dreamcast. There are a ton of different animations for just Dreamcast related things as well as, um, you know, all of your old school Super Nintendo, NES, you know, you've got even stuff for like Xbox and stuff is on there too. You, you'll probably be very surprised at the plethora of different animations that you'll find on there. So in addition to like, you know, still frames, um, you've got several different uh, frames of animation on there and this is a 64 by 64 pixelated picture frame, mind you, so it's very, very colorful and full RGB, and in addition to having just one slide, you can actually do a slideshow. I think there's three custom folders, essentially, where you can add your different artworks that you really enjoy, and you can have them play in like a, a slideshow type playlist over and over and over again. So that's really, really cool to have for, like, a, like I said, a game room situation. It's a really personal way to show off what you like personally. Um, and like I said, it looks great with your collection, but um, I've also really liked it just in my little office room on my desk. So other than having it be a decoration and look cool next to your other retro stuff, like what else could we possibly use this for? Myself, you know, I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I, I create videos on YouTube and you can actually pull up your own YouTube stats on this thing and it's like a live view count as well as a subscriber count and that is really interesting in itself because you could use that in the background of some of your videos if you're a YouTuber and you want to uh, remind people that hey yes this is my YouTube channel and um, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe and you know check out my content you know I work really hard on it um, it's nice to kind of have that in the background because people can see in real time your subscriber count and your viewer count and all that good stuff. It's not just for YouTube. There's also, I think, one for Twitter and like Twitch and stuff like that. So content creators in general, I think, will find a lot of use out of this other than it being a really nice uh, decoration. And I'm just thinking like long term, me personally, what could I use this for? You know, I'm a finger style guitar player and... I, I teach the guitar for a living, I also do YouTube on the side, and I also play a lot of gigs, you know, local gigs, and sometimes I get to travel and perform and everything. This picture frame can, can be used on a stand. It's not just, it doesn't have to be on a table, you know, you can actually get an actual stand for this thing. So I'm thinking in the future, what would be really cool is if I was doing a gig, I could just have this on the stand with like my YouTube information or even maybe do like a slideshow between all of my different social medias just to show people like, yeah, you can follow me here after the show's over with, you know, because a lot of times 
that can be a really difficult thing to do during the show is try to get people involved with you afterwards, you know, try to follow you on the social media and everything. This is a, is a visual thing that, that people can actually see and they can see my name being typed out there. That's also a really cool thing that this is uh, going to be useful for for me. When I'm not using it, it's really sitting on my desk in my little office room and it's kind of nice to have my YouTube count going when I'm, while I'm back here working because it's a nice reminder of where I'm at versus where I want to be and it can be a really good motivator to keep me going and keep me creating content and uh, trying to get as many subscribers as I can and trying to make this YouTube thing work and I don't know it's just a nice touch to, to the room and I, I really enjoy having it here so that's gonna about do it this is the Pixu 64 now I understand that they have several other different products but I think this is kind of like their flagship one um, it's it's one of the bigger ones that they have they do have a lot of uh, different uh, different products and stuff like that but I really enjoyed this one I think this one is perfect for what I'm doing on YouTube and you know it's also a really nice addition to the game room and it's it's nice to have on the desk as well um, I'm really curious to know what you guys think about it and what you would actually use this for so be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below thanks so much to Devoom for sending this over I really appreciate that um, it's really nice to have this and I'm really excited to continue using this in uh, future videos and in future content all over social media if you're into retro gaming fingerstyle guitar or video game music you're in the right spot I've got plenty of videos on all of those subjects on my YouTube channel and I highly encourage you to check those out thanks so much for checking out my YouTube channel thanks for subscribing and I'll check you guys at the next one Bye-bye.